Hello friends, welcome to Shikshati. In this session, we shall be doing special multiplications. So, let us start with it. As we all know, when we are multiplying two numbers, one of them is known as the multiplicand and the other one is known as the multiplier. Now this multiplicand, when multiplied with the multiplier, gives what? Gives a product. So, today we are going to discuss something. Uh, which will be an extension to what I discussed in one of my sessions. So here we are going to take those numbers. So I'll divide this session into two parts. Now let us say the multiplicand here is A and the multiplier is B and the product that you are getting here is C. I'll repeat. We all should be aware of the fact that a product comprises of two things. One is the multiplicand and the other one is the multiplier. Here I am taking the multiplicand as A and the multiplier as B and the product as C. Right? So what we are trying to emphasize upon is A and B are the factors of C. And then various other factors which are formed because of the combination of A and B. Right? And C is the now, when I say C is the product, we are basically talking about the product will always be a multiple of the factors given. So, the first case that I am going to discuss here is Now, in the multiplicand, when I say special multiplications, I am going to discuss uh, the multiplicand having values as 9 only. Now, when I mean to say this, what, I, what do I exactly mean here is, the multiplicand will be a number in which all the digits will be a 9. Right? So, starting off with the easiest one. For example, if I take a 9 into 8, we will not write down the result. We will try and understand how to arrive to the result. The next one that I am taking here is, let us say I am taking 9 into 7 or 9 into 9. Because here, the number which has all lines in it is either equal to the multiplier or greater than the multiplier. The next one that I am taking here is, let us say a 9 9 multiplied with a 1 8 or a 9 9 multiplied with uh, let us say a 7 8 or a 9 9 multiplied with a 9 9. Now I know that there are some answers which you already know in advance. But the session, this session basically focuses on we need not, you know, mug up the tables. Because I feel that mugging puts us to a discomfort. So in that case, we should know the method behind it. The answer here is 7 2. The answer here is 8 1. Now let us see from where and why have I placed this line in between. First of all, if you have watched my earlier videos, I would have told you the method of subscript and why am I putting this line in between. So the point that I am trying to, I am going to make now is if I multiply a number which has all lines in it, if I multiply a number with another number which has all lines in it, all I need to understand here is, on the left hand side, I get a number which is one lesser than this number. For example, if I am multiplying 9 with an 8, I will write a number which is smaller than 8, which is 7. Right? And then the next step here is, how much do I need to add to this 7 to get a 9? I'll repeat with the help of another example. Now, if I'm doing 9 into 9, I need to write down one number which is smaller than the multiplier. Which is one smaller than 9 is what? 
8 right and the next step here is how much do I need to add to an 8 to get a 9 now this addition is dependent on how many digits does this 9 have the number which has all 9's how many 9's does it have in total so extending this forward if I'm multiplying a 9 9 with 1 8 I'll write down one number now here the multiplier is 18 so I would write down one number which is smaller than 18 here the number would be smaller than 18 which is 17 now how much do I need to add to this 17 to get a 9 9 so 1 plus 8 and 7 plus 2 yes taking this forward using the same logic now so now once you know the method behind a method has always a logic behind it so once you have understood the logic there is absolutely no point in mugging up right so here the multiplier is 7 8 and the multiplicand has all lines in it so here i'll be getting what a 7 7 followed by a 2 2 so the practice should be such that i should even stop using this these symbols so the more you practice and as told earlier if i practice calculations every day for half an hour at least there will be a point in time wherein you yourself would disbelieve your speed now when i say you'll be disbelieving your speed that means naturally you become efficient similarly now i'll not be using symbols as advised can i write this as 9801 of course So I'll take another example here finally and now I'm increasing the number of digits in that number which has all lines in it and I'm talking about the multiplicand. So let us say this is the number that I have and I'm multiplying it with a 1, 2, 3. So as of now we were taking the equal number of digits in both the multiplicand and the multiplier. But now I am taking the number of digits which are unequal. For example, this has four nines and this has only three digits. So all I need to do here is put a zero. We already know that if I put a zero before a number, it does not change the number. It changes the number only when I put a zero in between. So here the logic still remains the same. So I'll immediately say what this is one lesser than the number, this number, which is zero, one, two, 2 and now you have to make a 9 so 0 plus 9 is a 9 1 plus 8 is a 9 2 plus 7 is a 9 2 plus 7 is a 9 so the more you practice there will be a day wherein all these calculations you'll be able to manage within three seconds I mean it so for example the final example here if I take a number like 99999 and if somebody asks me to calculate the square of this so it is just like saying 5 times 9 multiplied by 5 times 9 so I can immediately write down the result followed by how many 9's those many zeros followed by a 1 so this is this is the case that we are talking about when the number which has all 9's in it is equal to or greater than the multiplier right the second case here the second case here is, for example, if I take a number like 9 into 1, 8. Okay. Or I take a number like 9, 9 into 1, 2, 3. Or I take a number like, let us say a triple 9 into a 1, 2, 3, 4. So how many 9's does this number have? It has one 9. I'll just draw this line of separation. How many 9's does it have? 2. So I'll draw this line of separation. So these two 9 means from here, from the right hand side, I'll draw a line of separation which is dependent on the number of 9's which A has. Similarly, how many 9's here? 3 9's. So 1, 2, 3. I'll draw a line of separation. What do I need to do next? Again, the answer will be in two parts. For the left hand side of the number, all I need to understand here is 18 minus 1 more than this digit.
Now when I say 18 minus one more than this digit, how much do I get here? 16? So, now what next should I do here? So when I say 18 minus two, so what next should I do here? Should I say now this should give me a two on the other hand side? Now, how do I get this to is something that we need to understand. Right. Similarly, one, two, three minus one more than the digit on the left hand side. So can I say on this side, I'll be getting a one, two, two. And if I say this has to be followed by something. So if I say this has to be followed by something, what do I mean? I mean that there should be a number which should come on this side, which it should, which should complement this. So now which it should complement this basically means what should I say that this is a seven, seven, eight. Now before I explain this, let me see if I would have used conventional techniques, the answer that I would have got here is how much. Similarly, here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1 plus 1. So can I write this as this is 1, 2, 3, 2. Followed by something. Now followed by something that we need to check it up. That something is what? And then I'll come down to how to finally get to the result. So now followed by something, what am I writing here is let us say 6. 6, 7. Now, let's come back once again. So, final discussion for, for this session. I'll repeat, 9 into 18 is just like saying, I draw a line, this line is I'm drawing is based on the 9's that this number has. So, the left hand side of the answer is 1, 6. Now, let us talk about this. How much should I add to this to get a 10? 2. And this we already know. Similarly, using the same logic, now the left hand side of the answer, we have already found it out. How much should I add to this number to get a hundred? So then you will see, I need to add a 77. So the answer here is 1, 2, 2, 7, 7. Similarly, how much do I need to add to this number to get a 1000? So you get the right hand side of the answer. I hope you understood whatever we discussed today brings some interesting part in calculations for you. If you liked this session, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And yes, please turn on the bell icon so that you can start getting updates from our channel. Thank you so much. Until next we meet. Goodbye.